Today on this 2013 Subaru XV Cross Truck, we're going to review and install the Draw Tight Sport Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number DT24959. All right, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on our Subaru. Now, first impression is, yes, it does sit entirely below the bumper, although it does sit as close as possible to it. The cross tube of the hitch is constructed from a round stock, so it kind of matches the rounded uh, shapes on the vehicle as well. This is our inch and a quarter opening right here. Now this is great for your accessories that are designed for class one use, or you can use it for a specified drawbar part number 3593. Next up, the detail here is got the chain, safety chain loop right here. This is for your safety chains on your trailer. This hook on just like that. Okay. Now our opening here is designed to work with a half inch hitch pin or your favorite locking hitch pin, which needs to be a half inch diameter. Now let's go ahead and cover the capacity of the hitch. The tongue weight of a hitch, is, of the weight pushing down on a hitch is going to be rated for 200 pounds, and the overall pulling weight is going to be rated for 2,000 pounds. Now always double check your owner's manual to make sure that your vehicle can handle these kinds of weights. Next we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From the top receiver opening down to the ground is going to be about 15 inches, and from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper will be about 3 inches. Now we'll go ahead and show you how we install the hitch. All right, to start off our install, let's go ahead and take a quick look. First off, we actually have a lot of room to work underneath our vehicle, but it'll still be a good idea if you can to go ahead and push the vehicle up or lift the vehicle off the suspension to give yourself some more working room. Okay, let's begin. Let's go ahead and remove these three rubber plugs right here. I'm just gonna use some needle nose pliers to help pop them out. This is our driver's side. We'll do it one more time on the passenger side. All right, now we can go ahead and install hardware into the frame of our vehicle. We'll be installing two sets of this block and this bolt. To help us put it inside the vehicle, we'll be using this bolt leader right here, or wire pull. We'll use this to help us put this inside. So we'll start off by putting hardware in this hole right here. We'll take our bolt leader, run it towards this hole here, which will be our access hole. We'll pull it out, take the block, We'll thread it through and push it into the frame. Then we'll take the bolt and thread it on. We'll push it into the frame. Okay, don't be surprised if there's a real tight fit here. And probably if it's close enough, you can take a hammer and just tap it into place. Now we'll slowly pull our bolt through and our block and out our hole, just like that. All right, now our next hole going towards the front of the vehicle, we're going to do a little bit different. We're actually going to do some pre-assembly here. Then we'll push this all inside the access hole and then pull it right back through. All right, now we'll leave our bolt leaders on uh, to help us guide the hitch up. And if we do have to push them back in, we can always pull them back through and through the hitch. Now let's go ahead and do this one more time over on the passenger side. One little detail here is that before we put the hitch into place, this block needs to go between the frame and the hitch. What I'm going to do is put a little crook in the wire pull here, just like that. I'm going to take my block and let that hold it for me. Alternately, you can put it on top of your hitch and use some tape just to help hold it in place as well. Now at this point, you might want to get an extra set of hands to help hold the hitch up. We want to route the passenger side up and over the exhaust, and we also want to take our wire pulls and make sure they go through the matching holes in the hitch. Then we push this, slowly push the assembly up into place. What I'm going to do is do the bolts towards the bumper first. It can be a little bit tricky with this hardware. It'll be a flat washer, a lock washer, and then the nut. And if you can, hold the hitch to side or front or back, kind of pinch the bolt to keep it from moving as you get it started. Okay, with hardware on the two bolts closest to the bumper with a hitch still loose, then we'll go ahead and pull out these bolts that go towards the front. Now we can install more of the same hardware. Now if you can, use the washer up against the bolt to help keep it from moving and you can get the nut started. With all the fasteners loosely installed, now you can take a moment to center up the hitch, position it the way you want it on the vehicle, get it as center as possible. We'll go ahead and tighten down our hardware using an 11 16 socket. Now 
Now when we tighten down our hardware on our passenger side, just one bolt here close to the bumper can be annoying due to how the hitch is constructed. You can't go straight up at it. So we're going to use a swivel and a short 1116 socket and tighten it down that way. Now we'll go ahead and use a torque wrench to properly tighten down the bolts as described in the instructions. All right, now finish it for a draw tight sport frame trailer hitch receiver, part number DT24959 on this 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek.